Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a product favourites video. I've not done a favourites video for so long. Sorry if you can hear Ella in the background. I've been trying to film this video and I've just given up with putting her down for a nap. So she's here, you can hear her. I do apologise. But anyway, I'm going to do a products favourites because I have a few products which I've been loving lately and I wanted to share those with you. But first of all, if you are new around here, then hello, my name is Sarah Jane. I am mom to one little girl, her name is Ella, and she is coming up to seven months old. I can't believe it. I make videos on all different things to do with lifestyle, so um, motherhood things, inspiration, cleaning videos, product videos, all different things. So if you like that kind of thing, then please click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you are already subscribed and want to get notifications of whenever I post, click that bell button and then you will be notified. So I'm gonna jump straight in with um, telling you about this box, which I got recently. It is The Box from Court Beauty and it's a collaboration with Lydia Elise Millen. So there are quite a few different things that you got in here. You got it for £155 with a retail value of um, about £350-£400, something like that. So it's really good value for money. I don't often buy new skincare because I know what I like and I tend to stick to it. However, since having Ella, I just feel like I needed a boost with various different things. So I went ahead and um, ordered this so that I could try a few things. I'm going to share with you the two top products that I love in this box. So the first one is this, it is the liquid gold, so this is the packaging, uh, this is the product. This is liquid gold with glycolic acid. Now I am trained as a beauty therapist and many years ago I worked as a medical esthetician. So I worked a lot with glycolic acid, lactic acid, so things which were a bit stronger than your standard beauty products that you can get on the high street. So when I heard that there was a product in there with glycolic acid, that's what kind of caught my attention first of all. So this is really, really nice. You can um, put it onto your skin in the evening times. And what glycolic acid will do is it will gently munch away, as I like to say, at your dead skin cells on the surface of the skin and help to brighten and revitalize your skin. It gives you a really nice healthy glow. I've been loving using this. It's really, really nice. You just pop it onto um, cleansed skin that you have already and then rub it over the face on uh, with a cotton pad. It leaves your skin feeling a little bit tingly because a lot of things with glycolic acid will do that just because it's really doing a good job. But yes, I have felt that my skin has improved um, just using this, so very much recommend it. I'll leave links in the description box below of all these products. I don't know what prices these are individually, unfortunately, but I'll leave the information down below. The next product which was in the box is this Sunday Riley uh, Luna. It's a sleeping night oil. So I've been using this um, a couple of nights a week um, and I really, really like it. I especially like the packaging. Um, I like the way that it comes with a little drop bottle. It's just so, so nice, so pretty. And I think when things come packaged like this, I know they can be expensive, but it makes you feel like you're going for really luxury skincare. So this is really nice. Again, this has got retinol in it. So any of the last or uh, these two products that I've mentioned, you will have to use SPF because it can cause sun damage if you're not protecting your skin. I mean, you should be wearing SPF anyway, but you have to take particular care if you're using this because you can get dark spots and all sorts. So what you doing? What you doing cheeky girl? Yeah! <laughs> Ella! Ella! <laughs> so like I say, I've been using this one to two times a week and when I wake up in the morning, my skin just feels really, really nice. So I would definitely recommend this. I'm loving it. Now onto something a little bit random. I have mentioned this in past videos, but you, if you're new around here, you might not know. But basically, 
this might be TMI, I sweat quite a lot <laughs> and it's something that I've always uh, been conscious of and always suffered with. I don't know, I just think I've got a hot body and I'm just, I just do sweat. So I have to be careful what I wear. If something's like right under my arm, then um, I can get sweat patches and it's just gross and embarrassing and not very nice. Um, there are things that you can do medically um like botox i've heard of people have botox under their under their arms but i have also heard that if you have botox in your arm you can get things like back sweating <laughs> which is not pretty so anyway i was recommended this a while ago and i actually bought this probably about eight months ago but i was pregnant with ella and I didn't want to use it while I was pregnant and then I completely forgot about it until last week. And this has already changed the way I view life. <laughs> That's a little bit dramatic. But no, this has, this has done such a good job for me so far. And this is Dry Claw. So it's a antiperspirant and it protects against heavy perspiration and lasts for days, not hours. So what you do is you've got this little um, little deodorant here. It is a roll-on. You put it on every night for two weeks, and then after the two weeks, I think it's uh, you reduce your application uh, to twice a week or less. I have seen such a difference, and I saw a big difference just in one use. I used it before I went to an event, uh, the night before I went to an event and I found the very next day it was better already and I've really noticed in the past week that it's really reduced so I definitely recommend this it's I can't because it's been so long I can't remember how much this was but I got it from Boots um it is fairly expensive I mean not extortionate but fairly expensive for a deodorant but trust me if you suffer with this as well it really works I know little one I know <laughs> yeah it really works so give it a try you use this at night as I say and then during the day you would use your own um, deodorant she's just happily playing but she's just very loud <laughs> so as I say ever since I've had Ella my body's changed my skin's changed and Sometimes after your body's been through that much, you just kind of want to feel a little bit better. So I've actually started using fake tan, which is something that I've never really done before. Bless you. <laughs> um, because I don't really like leaving it on for so long, letting it develop, the smell, that kind of thing. But I discovered this. It's the saint -Tropez, um Gradual Tan in Shower. And you literally leave it on for three minutes. So you have your shower, do your hair, um, turn the water off, just wash the water off a little bit, and then go ahead and apply this. Wait for three minutes and wash it off. You don't see a huge difference like straight away. I mean, you do feel a little bit better, but as it says, it's a gradual tan. So like the more you put it on, the darker you'll get. So I've not been using this every time I shower, maybe every other time I shower, just because I don't like it to build up too much. Um, but definitely if I know that I'm going somewhere, like the event last week, or, <laughs> or I know that I'm going somewhere this week, so I'm going to start applying this again. But it's really, really good. So if you've, you're short of time, but you also want a tan, this is brilliant. And I got this from Boots. Again, I'll leave it in the description box below. So the last thing I want to talk about is this lipstick. I've had this for a couple of years now because it's the one that I got, I wore when I got married. But I've just found myself reaching for it quite a lot recently just because it's a really nice colour, really nice for spring, summer. It is Estee Lauder and it is in the colour Candy and it's the lasting shimmer one. Just really, really nice. Most of the lipsticks I have are kind of like this colour. I tend to go for pinks rather than reds, but I absolutely love this. So again, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I really hope it is still available. 
So there we go, that is what I've been loving just recently with my products. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. If you want to see more of this kind of video, then leave me a comment below. Make sure you give this a thumbs up so I know to do some more. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.